Okay, you guys, this is Winter Thoughts Part 7. Uh, this has been requested by several people, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, so I just tried to come up with something, and I found something very interesting, which made it well worth it to uh, go ahead and try to make this episode. Um, I noticed that there's a po well, there's the CFS is showing a positive PDL, weak Modiki Al Nino, slightly negative NAO, and neutral AO. Whereas the JMA, positive PADO, weak Modiki Al Nino, negative NAO, neutral AO, and this is Modiki also. Yet, the CFS shows positive, positive temperatures for the United States almost everywhere. And the Jamstack is completely cold everywhere. So, what's the, what's going on here? I mean, we're looking at practically the same temperatures. I mean, you could pinpoint everywhere and it's pretty much the same. Um, I find this extremely interesting. And uh, so eventually, probably, they're either both going to meet somewhere in the middle, or one's going to change towards the other. Or else one of them's just going to be completely wrong. Alright, let's go ahead and look at the um, precipitation. Precipitation is extremely similar also. Um, there's only some differences I noticed. The, the ma most major difference is this California. Jamstack has extremely dry. Whereas CFS has extremely wet, so who knows? Um, so we're looking at an, a weak El Nino to neutral Enso winter. So I want to show you the graphics I made a long time ago of both of these Enso states and how they affect the United States winter. This is the t uh, most typical storm track. This is the nor'easter. This is weak El Nino winter, as you can see there. Pacific jet stream comes through California all the way down into the Gulf. That's where we get some of that rain. Very uh, large amount of moisture is getting sucked into these storms. Then they come up the coast, giving uh, the, um, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Virginia, Southern Virginia mixed events, whereas Northern Virginia and up into Maine is snow events. And these can give a lot of snow, I mean 18, 20 inches in some of these areas, um, especially on the big ones that suck up a lot of the moisture. Now let's check out the um, neutral Enzo. Now there's one major difference. The trough is, what I've noticed with ne neutral Enzo's is they're more easily influenced by, um, by stuff like AO, NAO, PDO. It doesn't take a lot to change these. Um, so typically, um, they will be more, um, they'll change a lot. But, um, something to notice is that, um, the jet stream's a lot stronger, so it sucks in that Pacific, uh, jet a lot sooner, so that doesn't get enough time to, um, go into the Gulf. It doesn't really go into the Gulf, so sometimes these ones don't have quite as much moisture. This is where they get a lot of their moisture. Places like Tennessee, uh, western North Carolina, and southwestern Virginia, those areas actually get all snow events with a um, with a neutral end so compared to where the um, the weak El Nino does not. But um, the coastal areas they still get mixed events just because of the fact uh, there there's a coastal layer, and if you don't know what the coastal layer is. It's where basically uh, the most basic way of describing it is that the places around the coast. They, um, their temperatures are more uh, mild. If it's really hot, like all of a sudden it's been uh, colder than average, but then it gets really warmer than average, the coastal areas don't get warm right off the bat. Or, yeah, they don't get warm right off the bat. So, same thing, vice versa. Um, it's been really warm and cold comes in. Coastal areas aren't going to get that cold as, quite as fast and not as extreme. So, 
that's um something we'll be having to look at. Um, but I hope you like the graphics. Um, either way, it's probably going to be a mix of these two, um, just because of the fact that um, it's going to be a weak El Nino, very weak El Nino, to possibly just a neutral end zone. Alright, thanks for watching guys, um, if you have any requests, um, just put them down in the description, uh, if you want more Winter Hit, uh, Thoughts episodes, um, then go ahead and, uh, let me know in the comments. Alright, see you guys later, thanks for watching.